seen in this cold-blooded shooting caught on surveillance video of two Los Angeles deputies in Compton. Stand by for a GSW to be a deputy involved at the blue line. The video showing the gunman approaching the patrol car dressed in dark clothing, firing several shots, then running away. Shots ring out. Officers scramble to secure the scene. Shot fired. Shot fired. Moving protesters out of harm's way. The shots grow louder. As at least two snipers fire on police from elevated positions. This cell phone video shows the gunman targeting an officer. A gunfight ensues. The officer goes down. It was Officer Michael Chesney. C-H-E-S-N-N. -N. Officer Chesney responded to Burton Terrace in Weymouth P in Weymouth Police, in, the, in his Weymouth Police Cruiser. This is nearby, and he saw the suspect actively vandalizing a home. He exited his vehicle. He drew his firearm and commanded this man to stop. This suspect was eventually identified as Emmanuel Lopes. Lopes then attacked Officer Chesna, it is believed, with a large stone, striking him in the head, and Officer Chesna fell to the ground. Lopes then retrieved Officer Chesna's firearm and discharged it several times in his head and chest. Michael C. Chesna was a police officer for the town of Weymouth. He's 42 years old. He's a family man. He leaves a wife, two young children. Ages four and nine. Officer Chesna's been a, an Army veteran. In fact, I was speaking with his mom this morning, and she told me that he joined the military to help uh, open the doors for him to get on this job. He was successful with that. I hired Mike Chesna six years ago. Tomorrow, tomorrow would be his anniversary date. Police Department in six years. The streets of Midtown Manhattan came to a standstill today for the funeral of New York Police Detective Joseph Lynn. Lynn was on patrol with five other Americans in Afghanistan when they were attacked by a suicide bomber December 21st. It was Lynn's third deployment to Afghanistan with the Air National Guard. Yes, he was a cop and a reservist for whom duty meant everything. Two years ago, local news cameras were there when he surprised his family at a restaurant, coming home early after his second long deployment. Lem was a big country kid from Nebraska who thrived as a cop in some of the roughest sections of the Bronx. His little boy, Ryan, idolized him. And high on the shoulders of a New York City police officer today, the four-year-old saluted his pop. Police officer Eric Talley was one of 10 people killed in last week's supermarket mass shooting in Boulder. Yesterday, his friends and family gathered to say goodbye. 500 law enforcement vehicles from across the country participated in a procession escorting his first round looking back to the memorial service just outside of Boulder. The photos of the 51-year-old husband and father of seven were shared as his life and heroism were honored. Your father was kind. Your father died a hero. There is no doubt because of his bravery Dozens of innocent lives were saved. Tally was the first officer to arrive at the King's Superstore when a gunman opened fire last week. Okay. 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 Yes. 